Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be playing with colour again, but not quite as much as I did in my last video. I just want like a pop of colour this time. I kind of, it's still kind of sunny out, and when it's sunny I just want to be play with colour and be a bit more vibrant and stuff. But I think I'm going to add a little bit of glitter into this look as well, I'm not sure. So if you're interested then please keep on watching. Okay, so first of all, I'm taking the Lily Lolo Smoke and Mirrors um, palette, taking this neutral brown shade and using it on my E40 and so pure brush. And this is my transition shade for this look. And I have already primed my eyes with um, concealer and powder, as I always do. And I am going to wing this look out slightly. Then going this slightly deeper neutral shade on the exact same brush and using this just to further deepen up the crease, add some more definition and again I'm winging it out like I always do. Okay then I'm taking this deep brown shade just here and I'm going to focus this on the outer corner of the lid face. I'm using my fluffy freedom brush for this, it's slightly more denser so I'll pick up a bit more product and yeah just deepening up the outer portion of the lid. I'm then going to get in the Emmy Ray palette taking this lilac shade but before I do I'm actually going to apply some of the Makeup Revolution concealer and pop this down almost like a half cut crease but not quite more just so the pigment really stands out on the lid. And then go ahead and pack that lilac colour over the top. And this is one of my Real Techniques Bold Metals brush that I'm using. And it's just a beautiful lilac colour. Like I said, I just wanted to pop a colour but nothing extremely vibrant. I think this works out really nicely. Now I'm taking that brown shade again just to kind of blend the lilac with the brown colour. So it all kind of blends seamlessly together. So I am taking some of the deep dark colour, it's not quite black but it's quite a very deep greyish brown. I'm just using this to kind of further deepen up the outer corner of the lids. I'm using that freedom brush again just to do this. And then making sure everything is blended together again. And then I fancy, oh sorry, then I'm going to go with this shimmery lilac colour from the Lily Lolo palette just because I fancy a little bit of shimmer over the lilac colour. But I went in for the MUA first because it's a lot more pigmented than the Lily Lolo one. And then I fancy doing some wing liner today. So I'm taking the Hunsen Pure Black Tea Liquid Liner. I'm doing a nice wing with this. Um, nothing too thick, but nothing too thin. And then I'm going to move on to the face portions, taking my hands on pure luminous primer as I always do to prime my skin. And then once again, no foundation today, I'm just going with a Makeup Revolution Concealer. I pop this in my kind of usual areas, plus a bit more in the centre of the face just to brighten. Because I feel this is going to be a slightly more of a glam look than I usually do, so I just want a little bit more coverage in the centre of the face. Like I said, just to brighten, but again, still no foundation with this look. And just go ahead and buff it out. And then go over the Gosh Mineral Powder just to set everything in place. I'm 
I'm then going in with the Leo Coralie Stir Blush Duo. So taking the blusher first on my Luxie brush as always and popping this on the air of my cheeks and blending up into my hairline. And then taking the Champagne Illuminator on the palette and using this to highlight my usual areas. So tops of the cheekbones, around the temples, just above the brows and down the centre of the face as well. And I also did pop some just below the brow bone as well to act as a brow bone highlight. And then quickly filling in my brows using the Lily Lolo Eyebrow Duo in the shade Dark. And I'm setting those in place with a Barry Amp Take a Brow Clear Brow Gel. This will just help just make the hairs come back to life and also set the brows in place. Okay, finish off the eyes, I'm taking this kind of the second neutral shade we used earlier on my Freedom Fluffy Brush and running this along the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go with my collection Glam Crystals. I believe this is in the shade Funk, it's the gold one. And I'm running this along the lower lash line. So this is where I'm adding the pop of glitter. And I also pop a little bit into the inner corner of my eyes as well. I just thought I hadn't played with glitter for a while, so why not add a pop in this look today? Okay, then to finish off the eyes, taking my Gosh Rub Lies Mascara and giving my upper and lower lashes a good couple of coats. Then to finish off, I'm taking the Benacos uh, Lip Liner in Brown to outline my lips and also partially fill them in. And then for lipstick, I'm taking the Neve Cosmetics um, Almond Cookie Lipstick. this look complete like I said just only like a pop of colour the lilac on the lid I just wanted to still play with colour but maybe not be as intense so I have been some glitter under the eyes I think it's really pretty a wing liner which I have not done for a while have I I'm not sure I really hope you've enjoyed this video um and liked the look please let me know your thoughts down below I hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video